caused more damage by holding their property hostage for weeks after the storm. Amy's here now with uh, what those victims are doing. Yeah, this was something that many people hadn't even thought of, even whenever they took out those safe deposit boxes. If your bank catches fire or floods, the money in your account there is insured by the FDIC. But the contents of your safe deposit box inside the bank's vault, they're not covered at all. You can't go back and fix what was your great great grandmother's. Every woman in Aparna Shawakramani's family has worn this hand jewelry on their wedding day. Aparna it kept it in a safety money. deposit box yeah. inside this Meyerland BBVA Compass Bank. She boated past the bank on Beechnut when she was rescued from her flooded home at the height of Harvey's floods. She didn't have time to think about her possessions inside until she made it back. We began to call BBVA and we said, you know, our things are still in there. We haven't heard from you. Why haven't we heard from you? Where are our things? Bank employees told them conditions were too hazardous for customers or employees to enter. After nearly two weeks of calls and emails, a bank manager told Aparna her box had been drilled open. Its contents moved to the Bel Air branch where she could go pick them up. Burmese rubies missing. There's Colombian emeralds that are shattered. That are diamonds that are just falling out. There's a Tahitian pearl earring where one of them is there and the other is not. And the hand jewelry handed down from her great grandmother is in pieces. Aparna wanted to take what was here, but bank employees said she'd have to sign this document, agreeing that she was in full possession of everything in her box and that she waives all claims against the bank. Aparna refused. The insult is the flood came. Nobody could have stopped that. The injury is when they started taking it into their own hands and making it exponentially worse. About the issue that you guys had with the flooded safety deposit boxes? Well, you number. Bank employees at the Bel Air branch directed us to the corporate office. A bank spokesperson emailed a statement that reads in part, damaged safe deposit boxes were accessed to check for contaminants and mold after facilities were deemed safe with bank personnel and armed guards to ensure the safety of clients' belongings. When clients lease safe deposit boxes, they sign an agreement releasing the bank for liability pertaining to the contents of the box due to any reasons other than the bank's reasonable care and diligence. Now, a consumer attorney tells me Aparna will have to prove that the bank somehow damaged or lost her property and that it wasn't damaged in the flood. As for that waiver, he said she should not sign any document waiving her rights to sue in order to get her belongings back. He said that shouldn't be required. That is shocking. Yeah. yeah a lot of